Max, hurry up. Oh, come on, Max. Ah. Hey, what's up? Moose and I are just sitting outside of Max's work, waiting for him. Whoa. Yeah, Max took some tests and they didn't come out great, so he can't drive. He got filed as not able to drive or something, so I'm kidding. His vehicle is in the shop right now, so I had to take him to work and pick him up from work. And that works out because I don't have a job, so who's really the loser here? Aw, there he is. Hey, son. Hey, son, right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of him. Yeah, is, that, is that the vlog? I'm so proud of you. Yeah, we're just talking about how you have a job and I don't. Uh, so, don't worry. Moose is saying hi. <laughs> hey, bud. Dude, he gets you, he does that. This is what Moose does. He yeah. comes up right in between here. He's on Max's side, okay. and he scares the heck out of me because I'll reach for the seatbelt, and then she's like, wet mouth stuff. It's <laughs> gross. He's just like, click it or take it, Patrick. <laughs> What's up, dude? You wanna walk? Yeah, so pretty disappointingly, I think I have to give Moose away. Get rid of Moose, get rid of Moose. Sounds like just terrible. I'm not looking forward to it, but I just can't really take care of a dog when I can't even take care of myself. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. That sucks. The most frustrating aspect about this is I would be okay if I had a place to just like keep them during the day or like if I had a house or an apartment, but my apartment allows pretty much every other dog besides Doberman Pinchers and since this guy is a cousin to the Doberman Pinchers, they don't allow him. And that's why this guy can't go into the apartment. So, if I could just give them away for like two months and then I could take them back after two months, that would be awesome. But the Humane Society said that they're usually gone within a couple days. So. <sighs>